In the backyard between a vacant house and a home where a family lives, a sinkhole is straddling the property line. It's about 12 feet across and five feet deep in the middle. After this thing, this past week, it's very scary. With the deadly sinkhole on everyone's mind, this one brought out the curious and the concern. Is it too close for comfort having to cross the street? Uh, yeah. <laughs> is my house going to sink? Yeah, it's very, it's scary. Anna Marie Cerna owns the vacant house. It's up for a short sale. A neighbor called her with the bad news. When you see my house, you walk up and everybody over here. He said, no, you had a problem with the sea hole. Cerna isn't shocked to see a hole in her backyard. She remembers hearing about a filled in sinkhole the previous owner took care of. For me, no, no es extraño. ¿Cómo se dice? Strange. No es, no es extraño because when Lee over here, the hole is a little. Long side of here, huh? all the way up. Yep. See it? Yep. All yep. the way up. And two houses down, a friend of the homeowner showed me where hairline cracks. It has that staircasing, staircasing damage all the way up. Have developed. It's cracking from up over there, alongside of here. On the outside and in. They're scared. They're not going to stay here this evening. They're not going to stay here tomorrow. Hillsborough County officials will continue to monitor the sinkhole to see if it grows and will make any future decisions based on their observation. In Sefner, Peter Bernard, News Channel 8.